Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to locally test Node.js Lambda functions that are used for Amazon Alexa skills. Using Lambda is a great way to host skill services, and I've talked about in other videos uh, how you can test Lambda functions by going into the AWS Management Council. And uh, basically, in that video, what I showed was that you can go into uh, developer.amazon.com into the developer council and for your skill you can go into the test section and there's the voice uh, or the service simulator rather that you can use to send a request and um, the, an easy way to test lambda functions would just be to copy the request that's generated here and then go into the AWS management council and then go action and configure test event and then paste it in here, and then when you run save and test, you can test, uh, get your test results back here. And you can do that to test all of your different intents and stuff. Uh, but the the problem with doing it this way, or not the problem, but the, the drawback to, to this is the function needs to be deployed. So your Lambda function needs to actually be out in um, Lambda for, for this method to work. And today what we're gonna go over is how you test your Lambda code before you actually deploy it to Lambda. And um, understanding this, it's actually really easy, but uh, it, it does require an understanding, uh, basic understanding of how Node works and modules more specifically in Node. And so I'm not gonna do a deep dive on this, but just real quickly, um, Node provides a module object that is um, able to uh, export functions and objects so that they can be used across JavaScript files. So in this example here, this is a super simple node module, this greeting.js file here. And you can see the uh, the module exports this, this function, this object here um, that provides some super simple functionality. And then over here in my index file, I'm um, basically using that module, the greeting JS module. And then um, uh, I'm creating a new instance of that object and then using the, the, uh, the methods in that object. And so um, this is the, the node modules, how they work basically. And if you understand how node modules work uh, and you take a close look at um, a Lambda function, you'll realize that a Lambda function is, is really essentially a node module. So we are going to take a look at that. Let's, um, let's, uh, let's create a new skill project. So we'll create a, um, a new uh, skill called, let's see, just hello world like that. And then we'll take a look at the code for the Lambda function that it creates. So we'll go in here and take a look at it, Lambda custom, and then index here. So this is the uh, the Lambda code. And you can see here, you see this exports handler, which is just like in our super simple module here. So again, um, really it is the, the Lambda function is a node module. And so if you understand that, you, you um, can start thinking about, okay, well, then I can just use this inside of a local JavaScript file to do the testing. And, um, and so if we do that, like go back over here and just like if I did node and then um, my index.js for my simple module example, you can see I get the results back. I can essentially do the same thing for a, uh, a Lambda function, all you need to do is you need to uh, mock up what Lambda is normally providing. So the um, the event object and the context object. So the event object is what is going to, this is sort of the inputs that are gonna come from, in our case, if it's an Alexa skill service, the Alexa skills kit. So the Alexa skills kit triggers the Lambda function and passes in the event information. So just like, we were doing over here. Um, this is uh, this is an example of what the um, the function is going to get the lambda function, and so this is our event. the The other thing that we need to mock up is our um, context, and and this 
actually Lambda provides that. And so it's not super, super complicated, um, but this is gonna provide some information about the, the uh, Lambda environment. And, um, and so we're gonna just create a, a mock version of that. And once we have both of those, then we can just use our index, um, not this one, but the one that was created for our skill, our skill function, uh, just like a module. And so I've got some code that I pre-created to make this go quicker. So um, this test code I'm gonna walk through here. So my context, this is, uh, and I'll push all this code out to GitHub, so I leave a link for it. but. This is basically a, a mocked up version of what the Lambda context would look like with just some fake values in here. And this is also going to return like when the, um, uh, the uh, Lambda function succeeds, it's going to return, it's going to write it to the, the council, whatever is sent back. So this is going to be the response to the, uh, the event. And uh, it's also going to write back uh, if there's a, a failure. And the event itself, this would literally just be what you copy and paste out of the developer console over here. And I just have this as a JSON file so that I can go and copy and, and paste different versions of it to test different uh, um, um, intents and whatnot. And then you finally, you have a file to, to actually run it. And so... I've got this stuff set up so you can see up here I load my lambda code in first and so I go into uh, let me move this I got it in the wrong spot um, so I go into that custom folder here and grab that index which is what gets pushed out to lambda and then um, I create uh, an instance of the context mock object and the mock event and then I use those to call our handler, so our Lambda handler. So let's um, let's take a, a look at this. So we'll go go in here and test it out. And so we'll go node like that. Uh, that's no good. Let's see, let's see where we are. That's what we need. Okay, so we um, you can see we got our response back here. And this is, again, this is just coming from our local environment. We're not pushed out to, uh, to, to Lambda, but this is what would be the, the response if it were pushed out to Lambda. And just, um, just so you can see, I'll, I'll do like a different type of request here. Um, this is probably going to call the same. So the hello world intent. So we'll try that out. So I'll go back over here to my event and change this up with this. And then go back here and try to test again. And you can see I get my response back. So I can go in here as I'm building out my skill and uh, change this up if I've got different intents. Um, I've got my hello world intent. I could just change it in here or create multiple JSON files for each one of my intents to do my testing. So this is just a, a simple way to test your Lambda functions locally. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those and I'll respond just as quickly as I can. If you did find this video uh, helpful, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.